In this video, we're going to tell you seven reasons why you should not get a Sphinx cat. Sphinx cats are unique and they are super cool. They're a hairless cat that has a look like no other cat, but they may not be for everyone. And in this video, we're going to share seven reasons why. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make cat videos that are educational and entertaining. And by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not a Sphinx cat is right for you. So let's get started with number one. The first reason why a Sphinx cat may not be best for you is because they will be attached to you. These guys are loving and friendly and they want to be with their owner. So if you're someone that's gone a long periods of time or you plan to get a cat because you will travel and be gone, this cat may not be best for you. They'll get super attached and they want to be with their owner most of the day. This isn't a cat that's gonna run off and hide and be by themselves and independent. They wanna be by their owner. So if you can't be home quite often, then maybe this cat is not best for you. The next reason why a Sphinx cat may not be best for you is because they want to play. They want you to get out the laser, strings, balls, fake little mice. They want to do it all. These guys are active and they want to play. So if you're looking for a cat to just lay around with or you want a cat that just does their own thing, this isn't the cat for you. They want to play with you. They want to be with their owner. They're super active. But if you want a cat to be entertaining and one that you can play with, then the Sphinx cat is perfect for you. So it all depends on what you want as the owner. If you want a cat to just do their own thing, the Sphinx is not for you. But if you want a cat to play with, entertain you, and have fun, Sphinx would be perfect. The number three reason why a Sphinx may not be best for you is because they need to be groomed. The Sphinx is a very high maintenance cat. They don't need to be brushed, of course, but they need frequent bathing, generally once a week. A cat's hair would normally pull the oil from the skin, but since they don't have hair and they can't really lick themselves, they're going to get oily skin and it'll be up to you to bathe them and clean them. So if you're looking for a cat that doesn't need grooming or won't shed too much, actually the Sphinx is more work than a normal cat that does have hair because you're going to have to clean them more than a normal cat because a normal cat would be able to lick and clean themselves but in this case with a sphinx you'll have to do it so it may not be the best fit for you if you're looking for a low maintenance cat the fourth reason that a sphinx cat may not be best for you is because they are noisy they're a talkative cat breed. They know what they want. They know when they want it. They're very smart, very active, and they are loud. So if you're looking for a cat to just lay around, be quiet, and just do its own thing, this is not the cat for you and one that you should look in another direction. They're going to be loud, noisy, involved, right with the family. So if that's something you do want or something that does fit well with you and your family, then the Sphinx will be perfect. The number five reason why a Sphinx may not be best for you is because they're not going to lay around all day. One of the reasons you get a cat is because they like to lounge around, they're low maintenance, not a lot of work for you as the owner, but that's not the case with the Sphinx. Like we've said before, they're very smart, very active, they get bored easily, they want to be entertained, and they want to have fun. So if you're looking for a cat to do all those things, then the Sphinx is perfect. But if you're expecting a cat that's just going to lounge around and do their own thing, this is not the cat for you, and you should maybe look for a different cat breed. The number six reason why a Sphinx may not be best for you is because they need mental stimulation. If you can't play with your cat, give them a laser, get their mind working, then this cat isn't for you. If you don't have the time, energy to do this, then a Sphinx will not be a good fit for you because they're so smart, so active. They want to be doing different things. So you can put treats in different places, have them try to find treats, play with them with a laser light, just anything to get their mind working, to find things, to go do things, to go under couches, up high. Just get them active and keep them moving to tire them out so that they'll be happy and healthy. If you can't keep your Sphinx active with different games and different ways to keep their mind active, then a Sphinx just won't be good for you. The final reason why a Sphinx cat may not be best for you is because they're expensive. If you're looking to get a Sphinx cat, know that you're going to spend anywhere from two to $5,000. Now, these cats are pretty readily available, but they're still expensive. Then, once you get your cat, there's other cleaning supplies and things you'll need to keep their skin looking well so for the most part this is one of the most expensive cats you can get for upfront initial cost and then maintenance throughout their lives 
So if you're looking to get a Sphinx cat, just know that they are expensive and it may not be a good fit for you if you don't want to spend that much money. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about the Sphinx cat and whether or not it's right for you and we'll see you on the next one.